All right, it is time for day seven of the War Machine mod. Now, before we go do anything, I have been advised that a lot of the gemstone weapons are a little bit different. So I went ahead and looked at this weapon document that they have here. And we're going to go through and see if we have anything that really, like, interests us. So, first off, the Vladov Assault Rifles, if they are gemstone, shoot a bunch of extra pellets. So it's like a shotgun in the form of an assault rifle. So that could be pretty cool. I have noticed that the banded SMGs have a note that say they're like AA cannons. And they consume 8 ammo per shot. So we're going to have to test that. Tdor, Okay, so the TDR SMGs, I'm looking at them, and it says they overcharge your grenade, and they give it 500% base damage, plus 200% damage over time, plus 50% dot chance, and 100% blast radius. Now, that would be super cool. But, with our class mod, which gives us 3,908% melee damage, Plus the rapier, which basically doubles or triples that in some situations. We can get more damage for our grenades just by holding the rapier. Because a ninth of our melee damage is transferred over to status effect damage. So just holding a rapier is just better. But it is a cool idea. If I were not playing Maya, we could do that as well. And that could be pretty cool. And then for pistols... The Hyperion pistols apparently have knockback. They deal weaker damage, but they apply knockback, so that's pretty cool. And then I've read the Jacob's pistols. They, whenever you swap to them, they give you back 10% of your shield. You get, you get shield delay reduced temporarily, and it increases your health regen. And it gives you lifesteal. And it gives you damage resistance. And it gives you extra melee damage. So... We might grab a Jacob's Pistol. Because why not, at this point. And then if we go down here to shotguns, all of the bandit shotguns are like sledges. So you don't even need it to be legendary for it to have the sledges effect now, which is pretty cool. The Hyperions say they're just an overclocked version of, like, the standard Hyperion shotgun, which already feel pretty good, so we are going to test one of those, because I think that'd be nice to have, too. And then the Torg shotguns say Firework. Insane amount of projectile, improves movement speed, but big spread. So I gotta see what that's about. And then Maya's usually pretty good with snipers, but we don't really have a whole bunch of skills that buff a lot of our damage or crit quite like we do in vanilla but all gemstone snipers do have a passive 50 percent crit damage bonus so surely even without some of our skills and with some of our newer skills this should be good so we'll try to get a couple of these we'll try to test them basically just see what goes on all of those gemstone ideas in mind we do need to go ahead and farm up some iridium so we're going to go ahead and try to farm warrior. I would love to farm dragons. Might actually be a better idea. So let's try dragons first. And then we'll just kind of see if that feels good. Okay, so we've got a little over 200 Iridium, and I think the best way to go about this is to set our game to read-only mode, farm up a gemstone item, and then go throw it in Claptrap Stash, and then basically just reload the character, and that'll just save us a lot of time on farming Iridium, because, I mean, we can just melt these dragons no problem anyway. We did that in the matter of not very long, maybe like five minutes, and we killed them three times. 
Okay, so we've gotten an E-Tech pistol. So this one is Hyperion, and as such... Yep, it applies knockback. Also, that feels pretty strong. It might be because of our damage over time buffs. As a matter of fact, I think that's exactly what it is. But it feels pretty strong, and I like that. We got another one, so this one is a Doll SMG. And if we go over here and check the funny little notes, it says that it is extremely good for close quarters combat. No burst fire, higher damage with better fire rate, but higher recoil compared to standard version. Okay, so let's just go ahead and throw that on. Seems really rabid, really fast. Most of our stuff is tuned towards elements, and also phase lock kind of just does phase lock stuff. But I could definitely see the appeal if it is just a higher fire rate, higher damage version of the normal SMG. It should be good. And then we do have a Jacob's pistol right here. And I'm really, really curious about this. Its base damage is lower, which it says it was going to be. But it is supposed to give you that instant shield. It's supposed to reduce your shield recharge delay and give you some damage reduction. So, yeah, every time I'm equipping it, it is, in fact, giving me back shield. You can't be, like, too fast with it. But maybe you could just juggle between two of these if you really needed to or wanted to for some reason. And then it does provide lifesteal, I believe. Yeah, so that did give me my health back. And then I have to imagine just holding it will be pretty good for just maintaining our health bar. And since this is a unique way to get our health back, we're going to use it over the Grog just to see if it is a viable replacement. It does have a matching grip, so that feels pretty good. The barrel is Torg, which doesn't feel as good. But overall, it's, it's decent. It's okay. I think the grip will save it more than anything. But yeah, those bonus stats, the extra lifesteal, the health back, and the shield back and stuff, that all just seems like it'll be good. Alright, so we've got a couple more items. We've got the Bandit SMG, which has a times 40 pellet count on it. Wow, that is causing my game to freak out for a second. Okay, hold up. Oh, it's freaking out because I'm getting a lot of stacks really fast for my skill. That's what it is. Okay, yeah. So every time we shoot this thing, we do get 40 stacks of our skill. It consumes 8 ammo per shot. Might be a good little stacking gun as well. It definitely does some damage too, so that's not like, I'm not going to ignore that. That's also really good on it. But look at how fast we stack. And then if we consider the fact that this is 40 pellets, we have 1, 2, 3, 4 skills... Probably five, and probably more skills that provide bullet reflection off of enemies. So, we could just almost always chain bullets. We get times 40 on this. As a matter of fact, I might just keep it because that sounds hilarious. We'll just see how that does. And then we've got a Torg shotgun here. This is supposed to just have a really high pellet count at a reduced accuracy. And it does. It's times 25. I'm sure if this were a like, larger barrel, like if it were a torque barrel, it'd probably be, like, closer to 40-something. But, yeah, that's, that's a lot. And that's, yeah, it only costs one ammo to shoot, so that's actually very cost-effective, and is also a good way to stack abilities. Okay, we're only gonna show off a few more, but we've got a torque pistol here, it has a 16.0 fire rate. <laughs> yeah, it does this. So that's cool. Let's go shoot a guy. Okay, so uh, that might be a little strong. Okay, that might be a lot strong. Yeah, I'm, uh, okay, this will be a... We're going to actually like hold on to this one for sure. Let's go ahead and try Hatterax really quick. If it goes well, yay. If it doesn't go well, we're probably not going to stay there. And then after that, we'll go ahead and just try to push Digi Peak, basically. 
So I'm noticing I'm able to take little dinks out of Hatterax's health bar without him going down. And I'm curious how much damage I could theoretically deal to him right now. Oh! Or Scorn actually, like, damage. Hold on. Wait a minute. Oh, oh there's a chance. Okay. So I'll be honest, the game got really upset at us for how high our stacks were. But we did just barely manage to do that. So, yeah. I don't like Hatterax. I'm really bad at his fight. I know that his fight is pretty brain dead, but since we can't slag him or anything with this mod, it does make it a little bit more awkward. But, Scorn. And that's gonna get nerfed, so if you want to do this fight in the future, you will have to use like a B-Shield and probably get a Lady Fist and go for crits and basically the normal Hatterax stuff. But, Scorn. So, yeah, since we got that done, I think we can go ahead and try to get our Rough Rider, and then it's pretty much just peak time. And Rough Rider. Ooh, it's got a Molly Wand part even. Okay. So we're going from 72k extra health to 102k extra health. So that's pretty nice. That's a decent little bump there. We lose out on the increased ass effect damage and reduced elemental impact defensive enemies but we get that extra health we get that damage resistance it would work better with emergency circumstance so we could throw out more scorns more often if we wanted to and it could just make for a fun little build so let's go ahead and get into peak the first couple levels are always free once again i always say that every single time i do peak and then after a while it will start to get really grindy and it's gonna get annoying but that's a vanilla problem. I get a slight feeling that the gemstone weapons might be a little bit strong. Just, you know, like, just a little bit. I don't know where I get that idea from, but they're just a little strong. Okay, so that's interfacer damage. Let's try the pistol. Okay, pretty comparable, weirdly. Into level 80 digi peak, it feels like the converge damage is starting to get a little better. And by that I mean it feels a little more balanced at the very least. So it's not just going around one-shotting every single enemy it sees. Which, I mean, that's unfortunate because it's funny, but it makes it more balanced. Okay, so we haven't used this weapon in this playthrough yet. The dog constantly drains your health, but also gives you a bunch of lifesteal and a bunch of movement speed. Also, the projectiles are slower on it, but if we hold it, yeah, you can see we start to lose a little bit of health. But... We do get some pretty nice lifesteal. I don't think we're going to be able to see it too much since we do stack our max health so high so fast. But it was really nice on the Axton, and it would definitely help if it did have an element to it. Okay, we've got our first Scorch here. So we're going to try to test out the Hyperion Gemstone Pistol, since it is supposed to apply a little bit of knockback. I don't know if it'll be enough to do what I want to do here, but it'd be super funny if I could throw her off the edge. Okay. Yeah, she doesn't appear to want to get shoved. So that's okay. We'll just kind of do that instead. Alright, so I'm sort of testing out the healing from the Jacob's Pistol here, because we are getting shot a lot and we're stacking a bunch of health. And I mean, we stayed capped out that entire time. And normally we don't actually get our health replenished whenever we get the bonus health. So the fact that it is able to keep up with that, and in fact out heal like a warloader there, that does feel really really strong. So that is kind of nice to have.
Alright, cool. OP2. Okay, so I found a weird little combo, and I'm not sure if it works exactly how I think it does. But, this Slaga has a melee attachment on it. And it does provide the purple damage over time effect on it. So, that paired with the Iridium Sanction skill, paired with the fact that it actually deals more damage per piece of Iridium you have, means that we can use this to close the gap and keep our lifesteal up, and then we can just use it to start stabbing people too. So that is pretty fun that I can use it that way, and I do like that. OP3. Alright, and with that, we should be OP4. OP5. Yeah, I guess it's time for our first binary. I kind of don't know why. I thought it was the next OP level. But we are totally down with this. We can definitely do this, I think. I'm going to try to just scorn him, though, realistically. Throw a couple pandemics out. Shoot wildly around a corner. Swap to heal. And we're just gonna wait until we hear him, like, you know, ramp down. Kinda like that. It went right th He did not care. He didn't care a little bit. Alright, that's a little scary. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, not bad. Cool. OP6 unlocked. Getting a little more sketchy. Ooh, we got the storm. The storm could be pretty interesting on this character. It does basically act the same. I think it just spawns more pellets and it does have that initial little AoE thing. So pretty much it's normal. But it'll apply a lot of shock dots to people. We love shock dots. And also it'll give us a bunch of stacks of agony too. So I think we're going to try to squeeze out one more OP level today, but it's getting to be a little bit of a grind. Okay, so how is this? Honestly, I wasn't expecting much from the storm, or from the storm. It's not terrible for stacking. I mean, the damage isn't great, but that was also a spider tank. Let's try, like, just a generic mob soon. Okay. Honestly, not terrible. This kind of works. Okay, so... I don't like Dukino's mom. So I'm kind of just hoping that this will be a nice, gentle interaction between the two of us here. Where she kind of just leaves. And we can just kind of carry on with Peek. Oh, thank goodness it was. Oh, I really don't like duck fight. So this is to try to unlock OP7. Ow, instantly. That sucked. Okay, and he's just gone. Thank goodness. Okay, so yeah, we hit OP7. This has been... A little bit of a grind, but that's just how DigiPeak is, unfortunately. We can go ahead and, like, check the loot real quick, I guess. We got a Psychocom and other sledges that we'll never use. Gunnerang we'll never use. We might use the Sniper Shotgun. And then I think that's it. Everything else... That... Okay, hold on. There's a Storm there and a Maggie there. So, uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. The Hatterax fight way earlier today went a lot better than I expected it to, so that was super cool. Uh, I didn't really grab any more gemstone weapons along the way, but that is because I don't really enjoy the grind of Digipeak, so I was more focused on just plowing through it really, really fast. I will say, Scorn obviously is still too OP with the Legendary Binder Com, so it makes sense that that got nerfed or is getting nerfed, and... Yeah, overall, not a bad day. 
We've got three more OP levels, and then we'll probably do a little bit of build speculation, and then we'll probably play around at OP10 and just see what everything feels like. So, yeah, that does it for today. Day 7.